<clears throat> they're not then in love with their sins. They're not hardened, impenitent sinners who will not confess their sin and repent of their sin. Such sinners have no interest in an advocate. But by God's grace, believers do have interest in an advocate. They desire deliverance from their sin against which they constantly strive because they always fall into sin. It's not a hypothetical thing if any man sin. They do. We know we do. We always do. And therefore we need to have this advocate. And if it happens to you, beloved, you fall into sin again and again. Do not be discouraged, but take your case to Jesus Christ. He will argue your case before the Father. And he will procure for you acquittal at the heavenly seat of God. And in a sense, he is the advocate of the whole world. He is the propitiation for the whole world, and he is also, therefore, the advocate of the whole world. But we have seen that that does not mean everyone head for head. What then does it mean? It means, in the first place, he is not the advocate only for Israel. That was the high priest of the Old Testament. He came into the Holy of Holies, written upon his breastplate were the names of the twelve tribes of Israel, not the Moabites, or the Amalekites, or the Philistines, but only of Israel. But now, in the New Testament age, Christ is the high priest for the whole world, for believers from every nation, tribe, and tongue representing the Catholic Church of the New Testament age. And this emphasizes the glory of his atonement. It's one thing for Christ to save one person here, and here, and here, and a handful of people here. But no, he saves the whole world, the church as one unified whole, the cosmos. He saves the world. We therefore do not limit the atonement. We make it as wide as God's decree of election. It embraces the whole church of every age, from every nation, tribe, and tongue, all ages, both sexes, rich and poor, bond and free. And that's our great comfort that Christ is the universal advocate. In Arminianism, there is no comfort. Because in that scheme of things, people perish for whom Christ is allegedly the propitiation. But all believers, no matter who they are, whatever period of history they came from, whatever social class they belong to, whatever race, whatever language, male or female, rich or poor, bond or free, find in Jesus Christ the perfect advocate. He agrees to plead their case before the Father, and he never fails to obtain pardon for one miserable sinner. Do not despair then, beloved, when we sin, but let us confess our sin, turn from our sin, and turn in faith to our advocate, Jesus Christ, who is the righteous one, and who is the propitiation for all of our sins, turning away the wrath of God from us. Amen.